Hey everybody, it's Jenks, and today I've got a tutorial on how to make intros using 3D's Max. Right, first you go on text, and you choose what you want to type. I'm going to space R space K, because I'm going to do Rock's intro again, but quick. Um, I use the Bank Gothic medium text, which you can download. Um, and then you put the size to 48. I usually put it on 30, but I couldn't be bothered. Now you want to go over to that, click that top right button and click modify and go to bevel. Now, when you're on bevel, you go down to level 1 height and put 5.0. This will make it 3D. You change it to any color you like, I'll just pick white. Now, we just have the R and the K at a little angle there. We put create camera, create camera from view. And then we want to click this auto key. Actually, before before I start making it, you want to go to this little button here for for preferences, one minute, I just did it wrong. Right, you want to go there, press it, end time, you want 200 frames instead of 100, that makes the clip go on for longer. Right, you take the little meter to 70, and then you want to click, click and make it zoom in with that little weird button on the bottom right, and then that other rotate button to make it turn in, so it should look like that. Okay, now we want to go on text again, we want to put in the O, so it'll go in the middle. Now, you want to click it over there, so it's out of the way. And I'm just moving it down to see if it fits right. It's a bit too close, so you guys put two spaces in between the R and the K, it'll make it look better. And then you want to go to bevel again, and it'll automatically put it to 5.0, so it's the same as your other text. Now you want to change color to white, so it's the exact same. And there you go, it says rock. So from now on, it should just go in and out like that. You want to take it to a bit further down, and now you want it to enter from around about there. To make it rotate as it's coming in, you click the rotate button and drag it all the way around so it does a 360 spin. Now you get the move button, put it back down, and then fit into the place you want it. Now you want to go into text again and you want to write productions or whatever you want come up from the bottom. You want to make this one slightly smaller than the other one. Oh, I misspelled productions there. I think I saw that out in a minute. Um, then you want to make it smaller than the original text so it looks better. So I'm trying to get it fit into the screen properly. The uh, spell productions, right? <laughs> there you go. And now you go to bevel. I want to go to modify bevel. Make it 5.0 again. It will already have automatic settings. So that's 3D. You can change whatever color you want. I just left it as the default pink. So that it should just look like. All right, that's coming in too big. So I wanted to move that down at the start. So then now it should just come in normal rock productions like that. And then you want to go and render settings, put the range to 200 frames. Now the size to 1280 by 720 if you render it into HD. And then you want to click on files. Choose where you want to save it to. I save it to my desktop. And then you want to click AVI file. And then call it whatever you want and click save. I just call it SS, I think. Yeah, there you go. And then OK. Now, you that's everything done. So now you go to the view and click camera 01 and then hit render. Now your video should start rendering. And then you put in Sony Vegas. And now we're in Sony Vegas and I've got my clip in there and I've got some random audio to it. I'm trying to sync the audio into the video so it sounds perfect. I didn't really take time in it because I was just recording. So you guys make sure you sync it so when the big beats comes on in the perfect time, whatever you want to do with it. But that's just how I did it. And then you go to File, Render As, and call it whatever you want. I've already got my settings into full HD. And then you let it render. And then, guys, it should look... Okay, thanks guys for this tutorial. If you want more tutorials and gameplay, please rate, comment, and subscribe to iFree Actdown, and also subscribe to the new gaming channel, Typesy Gaming. Thanks a lot.